Hey guys, what's up? Dick here, old school Duelist 12, and just remember, just let me complain. Now this week, I'm sorry, for, I'm going to start off by just apologizing for the late video and the fact that there's no video this week. So if you're here for Just Let Me Complain, I'm sorry. There's no, there's nothing like news-wise that came up uh, this week, so I really don't have anything to talk about this week. But if you still want to just stick around and see what the, why I'm posting, why the video is so long, then go ahead and... Uh, stick around and listen uh so yeah like i said there's no news uh there was nothing really i guess you can say interesting i mean there might have been stuff that i just didn't know about uh but i couldn't find anything that would be worth my time talking and uh that people just that's a that's worth your guys wanting to know more about so I did. There's no really news for me to talk about because normally I have like two or three topics uh, to talk about. But this week, uh, news-wise, TCG news-wise, I don't have one. Um, but I do have two things that I want to talk about uh, that has to pertain to the channel. And if you made it this far, cool. You guys are gonna learn some two cool. I'm gonna talk about two cool things. I'm still gonna pose a question. Um, two amazing things that. Uh, well, one of them is really amazing. The other one is just me just you know, just talking to talk. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is where is the channel going? Um, because I've been... I am a... Be, me wanting to be a YouTuber and obviously I watch a lot of YouTube. So I watch like... I, I watch and I learn about like what everybody else is just talking about a lot. Um... Recently, I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers are getting, like, you know, hassled about. <laughs> uh, for, like, you know, they're in it for the money, they're in it for the money. Uh, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I'm not in it for the money. This is all for fun. Uh, I mean, it really shows uh, that I am for fun because if you look at my views, I don't get crazy amount of views, but I still do it. I still have my schedule that I do, and I don't get crazy views, so obviously I'm not in it for the money. Uh, I'm really enjoying um what I do, or what I'm doing with it, my Yu-Gi-Oh videos, they're getting decent reviews, uh, the video game channels are not, or the video game channels, the video game videos, not really getting that many views, but I'm just doing it for fun, um, maybe it picks up, maybe it doesn't, if it doesn't, I mean, if it gets to the point where the Yu-Gi-Oh videos are doing awesome, and the video game videos aren't doing really anything, I might stop, I mean, I'll still leave the video game videos up, um, but I might just stop and just continue to play games in my own time. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm obviously gonna play games in my own time. I don't stop talking. I don't stop playing video games in my own time, uh, just because it's relaxing. Um, I mean, even doing uh, three videos a week, one Yu-Gi-Oh, one video game, and one news video, uh, that itself can get pretty stressful because one, I'm bad at remembering to to edit. I will record tons of videos, but just the editing part uh, can get very tedious. So I'm bad, and I'm more than likely editing videos the night before uh, stuff has to go up. You know, a little fun fact about me: I'm doing this all for fun. <laughs> like I really, I mean, you may see that I, you know, I monetize my videos, uh, and that's because I can. I mean, like it's out there, and if I make money off of the videos, or I make money on the channel, I make money on the channel. If I don't, it's not gonna bother me. I have a decent job, so I, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, so that's really about it on that. About, oh, God. Okay, yeah, second thing I want to talk about. Um, it started a couple months ago uh, with me just fuddling around at a friend's house uh, on his extra laptop. Just me making, or er, he downloaded RPG Maker uh, VX Ace for me. Yeah, VX Ace. I just started messing with it. I was having a lot of fun just creating it, and I got somewhat far. And it like started to get serious, but I didn't really like know the program. I learned more about the program. I got RPG Maker and V, and uh, it is amazing. I love the program compared to VX Ace. It is smoother. It's easier. Um, it's a lot nicer. Trust me. If you were gonna get an RPG Maker, 
and you don't really care about the price, get MV. If you really care about the price, then I would say VX or VS, VX Ace. You don't get all the cool features, um, but you can make all the cool, the built-in features uh, with the scripting and everything else and plugins and everything like that. Uh, the plugins just get easier with MV. It's a lot easier to install or put in the plugins. Uh, not much script writing has to be done. I mean, you still have to write scripts, um, but it's easier. It's a lot easier to do. Uh, so, yeah, because it's done on JavaScript, so not uh, anything else. Because uh, the other one, I can't remember what the program they're using. But, uh, anyways, I'm rambling. Um, so, I am seriously making a game, a serious game this time, because before, the like, the other my other two attempts were not serious, serious games. They were, like... I'm making a game, uh, but this one actually is a serious, uh, a serious game that I'm. I've been working on a few months. It took like a, maybe a month or two hiatus, uh, just not working on the game, mostly because I was just busy. And now I learned how to do the plugins, and I'm just making the game. The game is just a lot better. Um, hopefully, within the next, because again, this takes time. It's not <laughs> for some people that are just like, oh, new game has come out, new game has come out. It fucking takes time. Even like an RPG maker, it's there's no like you don't have to really write the codes for the most part. Uh, the stuff you could either just use the stuff that's stock there. You could look up stuff that other people coded and scripted for you, um, and even that itself, the looking up the part and looking at what you have at your disposal to put into the games. Uh, that itself takes a lot uh it takes a minute to figure out how to do it so i am just right now i'm just learning what uh not learning i've i know i'm more fluent in the program and i'm going to tell you guys now a lot of the stuff in the game is kind of stock what the program provides for me because i just want to know if i can make a, a decent game for people to play uh, and then if you know if, if that decent game if that game does decent I'll do a full product uh, a full everything is done by me I mean obviously I'm still gonna use the program um, but I'll use my own sprites uh, I'll you know yeah use my own sprites I'll create my own mo en enemies everything like that like it the, the whole nine yards so that's just that um, yeah, that's really, I mean, that's really, I mean, I guess that's really about it. Um, but hopefully, I can't give you guys a certain date when the game itself is going to be done because I'm maybe 45 minutes gameplay in. Um, it's probably going to be a few hours. Uh, maybe, like, I don't know, it takes, like, some people, it'll take eight hours to make uh, 10, 15 minutes of gameplay. Um, I remember it took me like almost an, a damn an, a damn near an hour just to make a boss. More than likely, I'm gonna tell you guys now. More than likely, I'll just make a I'll take a section of the game like a demo, um, and just put it out there. I mean, what, I mean, what the hell do I have to lose? <laughs> um, and just see how you guys like it. Uh, I can't give you guys name of the game. I can't give you guys uh, dates. Nothing like that. I can just tell you that the game is a JRPG, turn based. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm making it myself. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's really about it in the game. Uh, and then the last thing I want to I say is I'm going to pose the Just Let Me Complain uh, question. Like I always do at the end of the video. Of the Just Let Me Complain videos. I know the ban list is still, you know, maybe a month. Yeah, it's about a month or two old. Um, when I recorded this. A lot of the stuff that is already, that is... Out at the moment, but like you know, meta, um, we basically have access to the to the to the to the next like three packs coming out. Like we have access to what is coming out um, and what is playable. Um, what do you guys want to see banned? I, me personally, I'm gonna answer the question. I want Cosmos to be hit. I want BA can be dealt with because it's pretty simple. If you can make a big ass monster and have it and protect it. Maybe not like untouchable, but protected to the point where, you know, you can win the game against BA again. Because that's like really the big, the biggest flaw about BA. Get a big monster and protect it. That's it. 
BBA can't get over it. Cosmos, they do so much. I've talked about this time and time again. Cosmos, Cosmos, Cosmos need to be hit. They need to be... Basically, I want to see them killed off because they got... They, we're so powerful the last two form the last two ban lists not formats the last two ban lists there's on they're basically unstoppable at the moment they're well I wouldn't say unstoppable but virtually unstoppable because they can OTK without even dark planet without even a new support they can be they can OTK no problem with literally the old cards what the shit Konami so what decks do you guys want to see hit and disappear <laughs> I mean, I want Cosmos to disappear. I will not sit there enough. I got my wish. I got my answers prayered when fucking Shadows were hit, were, dis were finally disappeared because they were unknowingly powerful. Uh, and now look what swooped in. Klee swooped in for a minute. Necro swooped in for a minute. Uh, and now Cosmos. They swooped in and now they're just... They... Nothing in the deck was hit. It's annoying pisses me off so much. Literally, so many decks have been released since then, or since the ban list, and would be amazing. I'm even okay with Monarchs and BA staying around, but I want Cosmos, even though I hate BA, I don't like, I've never liked BA. I've hated BA uh, for the longest. They were, it was a, an OP deck with OP cards in it. Cosmos are even more OP. You go to big top tournaments, and that's all you see. Oh my god, I've been rambling too much. Anyways, <laughs> that is my question. What, what decks do you guys want to see disappear? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very sorry that I don't have any news this week. Uh, they're just kind of just. You, there hasn't been nothing too spectacular with news. Um, pretty sure next week is gonna be awesome because there's a lot of regionals uh, and YCS have been happening because it's n nearing towards the end of regionals. Our regional season and YCS and nationals are going to be starting very, very, very soon. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. Uh, all the links to social media are in the description below. And thank you, and have a wonderful, beautiful night day thing, or whatever.